Meanwhile, we got our last pick for Navi yeah, Jr. is going to be the Doom. Heroes. So, Prima be Smith, Doom 3, Shadow Demon 4, Shion Protector 5, and uh, Safe and Shadow Fin. Or Eliminate it more, like, more properly. Oh, we might have some first blood, so let's focus on this game and we can talk about the PS statistics later. Days might be in trouble, but the heal is pretty decent coming out from the Trian. But Days might still, still be in trouble. He's delaying his life a bit. Look, he's gonna die on CQ. It's not gonna, it's gonna be him, it's gonna be much better. It's the Puck getting the first kill, and then he might just be able to go for another one. This Hawk is really annoying. I, I just. It could have been a better approach if you just eat the hawk immediately. It's not. It's level. Uh, I think it's level the one or. Begins. Yeah, it's, it should be level one. Let me see the boars. I mean, he gets closer, but he can just always. Huh? It might be a kill, actually. Is he gonna go? Yeah, that's what I like to see. This is the one that's solving your laning problems. But the problem is with this that the BMA Doom deals a lot of damage, and you are lucky enough that he's not level 3 already. But he got the Frost attack. And here's the rotation. Now you're expecting the rotation from the Shadow Demon, but it's actually the Trend Protector coming. And they bring in Niku. That's the Navi Junior experience. But Rizq, for some gut. For second reason, he gets away. No, he lingers. What's happening? What's happening on the top lane? I mean, <laughs> the hog punished the case that they brought four heroes to top. I don't even know why the Shadow Fiend was laning. Can they catch Q in this lifetime? Or is he gonna be denying himself? No, he's gonna be the plot grenade. Days finishes him off. I, I have no idea what just happens here on the top lane. I mean, we can see that the path, but he got like two lanes for free. So. Not only good, he might take the price just for stealing that stack. Can he get any kills here? Days should be dead. They don't have the vision anymore. They don't have the vision necessary to go for more plays. Radiance middle tower Getting this deck is a possibility, but be, uh, it still feels like Dahak is throwing himself back into the jungle, and that's a big kill! Of course, you are aiming for the shard as soon as possible. It's like pretty much mandatory. They catch days again. Can they go for this kill? The science is gonna be there. The illusion in order. They should have the damage. Maybe days can delay the another one. No, he can just banish, and here comes the hat. I have no idea how the hell he made it here, but he is here. And they took down the tier 1 bottom, tier 1 mid, and they are going for the tier 1 top. This is just basic Dota. The Hawk leading the charge and his creeps are doing the job. Did the, the, no, it's actually the Dark Tor Summoner. So getting the additional damage from the rally. Uh, for every skeleton that you have in your army, you get 2 additional damage on each of your... Um, Niku just popping the healing cell and the Hawk, he paid a visit but it's way too late. The creep is it's level 6. Oh, that's a quick kill by the Hawk. He secures the, the primary roar. 5k up DMS. This is looking. This is looking confident. Maybe more than confident. The only problem that they are having. Or, um, if they can find a problem by leading 5k against Navi Jr. after 12 minutes. In a, or at least defend. Late mail. Not gonna be stopping them now that the heroes are coming in. The save is gonna be there from days. The mortal pieces are a bit late, but with the dream call, it's gonna be there. Mellow Jewel and problems once again. Getting the kill and the PA is farming. You are getting kills on bottom. Navi Jr., what are you supposed to do now? Your support is dying and you are not even under attack. It's just they are diving your tier 3 tower with four heroes. Really, um, you know, horrifying. Oh, Rinsiku just made the big mistake here. And they are pulling in so many heroes, but Rinsiku is gonna be dying for sure as they make sure that they give the primary beast. The leash is gonna be there, the dream coil, and here comes the Mortimer. This is once again this combination that we have been talking about throughout the laning stage. It's <laughs> it's not super effective against the primary beast, but it's always there just to get that kill secured on every hero. Besides the Brago Beast. And the Hawk, look at how aggressive he is. Is he gonna go for a solo? You know. 
Ah, this is a big mistake. That's something I was talking about. Making these small mistakes might add up and can get a comeback onto the Nobby Jr. side. And now with this, all of a sudden they are in the lead with experience. And it's Nobby Jr. days. He's playing a very dangerous game. I know that he's farming on a very off angle because he's supposed to be doing that because he's Shadow Demon. Protecting your heroes when they are just deeply farming into your jungle is not really the beneficial play to go for. Mm. It's also again the hack. He's making this place pretty much possible around the map. So got a really nice understanding of how this game works, obviously. As he had. I think he's the only person who has tier 1 experience out of both of the squad. Of course, if you are hunting uh, coaches as well, then Nobby Jr. got a very veteran uh, tier 1 player in the form of our staff. Lincoln Sphere. He's gonna be back for the rest of the playoffs, and maybe uh, a more feminine character might appear in the cat finals as well! That's perf! Oh my god, are you serious? That's not a beautiful soul! That's actually free! 10, 100, or maybe even some location, maybe 1000. Right click on the courier, I see it might be the one that they're gonna go for first. But through these dice, he, he was just doing his job. I think. He cannot go against uh, his uh, playstyle. He's, he's, he's the guy that you know takes care of the dead lane. I'm making transitions here until the end. He's gonna be late! And the Huckley dies with this one for sure. He cannot get away. Or can he? No way. He doesn't have the ultimate because of the Lotus Storm action. Nicely getting away the Huck. Radiant's Forcing huge attack. rotation. Tier 3 towers cancelled because of the primal piece getting on top of him. Can Meloju get away with the skill? No, the heal is gonna be there and he just pops the magic wand. And now all of a sudden, got the juice, might get the kill. They doom him! Nicely played PMA popping the Lincolns with the mono burn. And this is the best one you can go for extra mana regen for all allies and yourself as well. And mana burn just to pop. Oh, but this is very, very dangerous. Not anyone is out. So it's dangerous though. One or two of these, uh, if, it, if, if they go wrong. Might cost you the game. Got four deaths or you know, your PA having the best of his lifetime, but Radiant are scanning. I mean I'm I'm gonna be Radiant actually against that statement. Killed. It's actually them Radiant's not courier has it's been actually killed. them being a bit too scared to make a play. That's the play you have to make, but the problem is you don't see it. And they just pop the not a Siren Ultimate. They are out. The Hawk. Oh, he got the TP cancelled. It was the Infernal Blade. But back home, he might be able to get a kill. Just focus the Ancient Thunder I on release. Dead anyway. Benojo gets it. The Puck God. But there's still a guy here. Problems. He was not finished. He was still playing around. He got his TP cancelled as well by disruption. Trinko is gonna be there. Mortimer kisses, but the fear on the sides. Yep, it's gonna cancel it. And they are fine. They got Crimson Guard, they got Living Armor. I, I even heard the yeah. I even heard the Solo Crest. Can this go for this kill? He got the Nullifier, but he's the one getting nullified. Completely nullified. The PA is gone! 80 seconds without him because he bought the nullifier. Maybe they can get PMA. It's basically. Uh... No, Knight is fine. And meanwhile, the problem is Tahak was doing some things on the other lane. Either the Park or the Beast. Miku. Bringing heroes in. They might catch someone of God. Oh, maybe the hog, the hog is throwing the troops back to his position. Now he's changing its pace and making play back home. Meloju might just go for his solo kill and he gets it. And there is the punishment. Doom on the puck and he cannot get away. 
That's why including that Yule Scepter, even in this game, might be so good. But the... But the, uh, we have to emphasize the word might, may. Might have been. And it really looked like from the previous engagement where he used the nullifier on the Triant or, or the Shadow Demon, I can't recall. Oh, one Siege Creep is getting healed back up, it stays alive and they make a play onto God the Juice jumping in, but the PA and the Fortimer, this is not gonna be enough, they just pummel the PA, throw the ground and drink the is still fine, the Naga Siren is actually healing back back up and the Guardian Geese, the Lotus Orb is gonna be saving them, they buy enough time, but the sacrifice of the Naga Siren got buyback available, the puck is back, Veloju can make the play possible, Naga Siren buys back, he's gonna be getting back into this, he's good for one reload, Lotus Orbs are Guardian Geese, and Dream Queen is gonna be put into two, no more team Kisses is being used and they buy back on the PA. Mellow Jewel, but without your ultimates, they bring down the tree and he can buy back as well. He can make his way, he got the TP. And the hawk here is just really falling apart for DMS. The Shadow Fiend is just ending the game. Now he's targeting the PA. Once again, he's bad in this is game. Navi Jr. gets the first map. GG, nice try. <laughs> DMS is really missing a mid laner. Unless if they want to go OG and wanna. Not OG Dota, but original Dota and wanna bring the Bat Rider to the mid. No, it's Tiny mid. Tiny is a really good hero here. Nice laning stage so far from Tiny. But uh, Nico is got the juice. Dark. I think Dark is up. Nice play. Using the Dacha just to fear him away before he is able to press the concoction onto any enemy hero. I was basically foreshadowing it. Days. DMS once again start the game off fantastically, putting down tier, uh, the player position 4 and 1. And they get more. Oh, maybe they can get a heal here. Problems dies. But the Hawk. The Hawk is making the place possible, and this Naga Siren is indeed dead. So the Hawk with two kills. Once again, I'm having flashbacks has the flag barrel keep and an extra tango being eaten and of course the fairy fire is still there maybe on the bottom till the end might just go down or they are turning this around till the end dies man this is gonna be gave it his life what i like fairy fire can they turn this around old leo shredder definitely shredding in the scatter blast hey everybody what can you do? Evening up 53. So the rotation zone to bottom is being made just to retaliate what's happening on the mid lane and Rinsecure dies. I'm I'm always so happy when I see Facebook's being prioritized over. Threads on me. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Our scanning. <laughs> that was a really nice play from this, let's be honest. He cut down or de uh, destroyed the cogs with Little Shredder and jumped in to secure the kill until the end. It's gonna mean that you don't have TP. Well, that was the voice line indeed. Own age. Five kills in a row for Navi Jr. It really feels like the counterplay to DMS is uh, really. Honest approach to, to dominate the other stage is just answering the kills on your own. Melo Jewel is. Smoked up Radiant's and gonna get this kill on the enemy. One more right kick. Problem. really problems gets the kill. PMA dies. GMS still has a really nice cohesion. Or paving the way to 
the heart of DMS. They get the kill for sure. Can they get to another though? I think so. No, bad try the ultimate. They found got the juice. Oh, almost killed himself, but not managed to do so. And all of a sudden, the Huck basically almost has his uh, 600 gold away from getting the Lotus Orb. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Uh, more like 800, right? 700. Um, Basically, yeah, that's the part I was looking for. Look at, look at how much damage he deals. More time kisses, till the end, it's gonna die. Can make a few kills though. Melo Jewel still not having that blink. It's really hurting. They have such a nice synergy with, 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 with their spells, and they need not only kill the Clockwork completely, but they get rid of the Luna as well. Oh, Scatter Blast just on the edge of the Mortimer Kisses as the follow up. The silence is gonna be late as the Pangor is using the power of the Blink Dagger. Or the X. It felt fat like he was blinking in. Radiance middle tower is mm -hmm. under Can attack. I go for Tildean now? The cooldown. Cooldowns are way too big on the Bangor here. Ember sees those nerfs, but the Bangor here. Picking up the eggs and not the blink dagger it might just be the right decision. He's, it makes him pace how the Hulk is basically eliminating this tower. I hear a hook shot, but it's onto the alchemist, and this alchemist is just way too tanky now. Got the PKB as well, at, uh, basically. The Hawk managed to finish out the tier 1 tower, which was very critical to. Critical uh, of much, it was clutch with how their attack speed is scaling with the Bat Rider, with the power tries. They might be in trouble. Yeah, it's gonna be caught. Completely alone, farming the dead lane. That's your position 5. 4. As I said, they let the MS farm, you can feel it on the experience that they are getting. Smoking up as 5, oh, that's really nice. Melodju was completely aware of the shenanigans that he was doing, and till the end might get another one. Here it is. Drop down the villa with... <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 what such just happened there, ladies and gentlemen, that was really disturbing because the alchemist just stunned himself and now basically DMS is getting a free heal on the alchemist and maybe some follow-up as well, there's gonna be the end snare. The alchemist damage is not that overwhelming, despite standing in the acid spray, Niku is now dominating, that could have been more disastrous for Navi. They were not precarious enough. How risky that can be against two BKBs finished off. Oh, till the end. He attack. picks it up. He knows. Can the juice? Can he get? He's gonna stomp himself once again. No, he's gonna be fine and get the kill. Till the end dies. Get buyback available, which is gonna be mandatory to have from now on. We can never be sure when the alchemist is gonna be making a mistake again. Radiance top or any other is under attack. Got all of their utilities available. Problems? Uh, yeah, he's gonna be. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And they steal the wisdom runes. The Hawk? Is he gonna go for that? Of course. The Hawk steals the other. So let's see what kind of items we got for tier 3. Experience is 4k. Radiance Gold did this stand. This might... <clears throat> this might not turn into what you are expecting, because DMS is making a move. Never mind. Did. No counterplay just yet. <gasps> they stand on the high ground, though. Oh no! Metal Jew messed up! Well, it was tricky with the flocky timing. The full bore scatterblast is very strong at a fair distance. And it's off. 
What is he going for? Oh, the heart. Okay, we will. We will know for now. Because there's the first kill on the key protolite. We basically used only one or two ultimates. Are scanning. No, oh, they tossed the alchemist. It's just beautiful. What a nice combo from DMS. And all of a sudden, it's your cardo gone. Oh, alchemist is not there anymore. Can you escape? Nice, that shot from downtown, and they get another. That should secure themselves some. That might be separating one team from the bigger lead. BCQ, they mess it up. Oh, the double stun is actually pretty nice. And the follow up, the Mortimer is gonna be there, and BCQ is gonna be finished as well. Not gonna press the big KB because he has a second life, but the tiny press is it. The Hulk, can you approach this? Or it's just gonna be chain double that for the Luna. He's trying, he's right clicking, he's using every single power, and they are separating the rest of the team just five with the ultimate. Oh, the Naga Siren, what a nice approach from Navi Jr. And it was without which one. They just jumped in. No Luna Tower. ED Rune, though. Never mind. Chemical Rage available in 5. Can they make this play possible? What? Don't forget. Bad Rider and Tiny are really strong. Just one last so might change the fate of the game, but not like this. And the Rolling Thunder available once again, but he's been locked into the, the cogs and been controlled by the Optimus. The tiny dies, Melochu, no buyback. And they might find another the clockwork, no buyback either. Problems, it's just all falling apart like dominoes. Oh no, DMS, you are losing every single hero. And the hog dies almost in the fountain. Luna available in 10, so it's not might be. It's not my beat that. Oh. Never mind, it's actually horrible. 17k down all of a sudden, just dying one after another. Gotta give props to the boys, Navi. Might just do OTMS here. Chemical Rage up in 9. Oh, look at the damage to Wakanda, that shot. And they only have 3 heroes, they should be taking this. MCQ, can he? One versus five. Oh, Rolling Thunder available once again. Oh, every single time that's Rolling Thunder and the chain stun on the Luna is gone. Is this game? They have to hold. They have to hold four versus five. But this banger is completely unstoppable. PMA is still fine. Gets using the solar players. The Guardian Greaves. They toss back Niku. Never mind. They take it back. Melodju might just crack the game. Open as they bring back the, there is the clockwork of oh, the blink is just there and with this they might reset the complete battlefield and they are absolutely fine the hawk was doing all that he is capable of and till the end I just the next one got the juice can chemical courage up in 10 he stung himself once again but it's gonna be fine this clockwork is locked between four heroes and it's gonna go down. No buyback. Are you serious? I'm gonna switch to that because none of them are having buybacks. It's only melody. And it's one after another. They're not gonna go for the end. Despite having the two siege creeps still alive. They will, gonna be, they will be fine. It's another lane. And retreat. Oh, the hack was looking forward to catching anyone. He was making plays even without that, so... Who are you tossing in? Do you, do you, do you just toss... Do you just throw in the Naga with the ultimate activated? Then you want to get out? Oh, look at the hug. He knows. They found someone. Problems? No buyback. X and he's done. The hug. He can try to steal it, right? He has buyback available. They just need the rocket flare. They just need rocket flare is coming. Rocket flare right? The hawk? No. Still sees it. Ro uh, the hawk? He No way! He done it! Can he get out? No. 
Oh, but he got the cheese and the refresher shot as well. The ha! <laughs> oh. I don't know. It was worth it or not. Who are you giving the shot to? Luna? I guess. Yeah. They give it to the Luna. He got the rapier. <laughs> This is getting tense. This is getting tense. The Hawk obviously gonna buy back the Clockwork and Naga. Projectile speed cast range. Really in spell immune units. I don't think that's worth it. It's more like you want that refresher in the, in the, in the backpack. I agree. So next fight. We are gonna be potentially having 10 buybacks. This is gonna be a very crucial uh, part of the map. Controlling this outburst, hexing himself. Oh, Gatti Juice is gonna be DP and popping the BKB on the Luna, but he's gonna be retaliating. He's paying his. Oh, he might just die here! Bless, <laughs> spider available, but the Divine Rapier being immediately picked up by Gatti Juice. Can they go onto this Pangolier? Oh, the Bash! Pangolier is doing it! Melochul, he's dead! Three buybacks come out and the hug dies as well. Ultra kill for God the Juice with the Divine Rapier is basically backfiring now. Two buybacks still available so they can make it the five versus five, but look at the cold. Oh no. Navi. We're gonna be taking these baby steps towards victory, placing two spells, placing everything slowly but surely. They got buyback on the hawk. If they want to use it, I don't think they will. They can defend this. They have to. They have to defend your force. This is this. They can. They can defend this. Oh, they throw in a bait. It's gonna be eaten. Every single buildings. Other than the two features of the two tier four towers and the ancient are down, and of course the fountain, and of course there are just so oh, whatever. Double siege creep wave. One buyback available, and it's only the hawk. On the other side, ninja gear. Under the effect of the smoke, can they jump onto the hawk? He has put one buyback, but once again the combo onto two. And th there goes the hawk buying back, and they just try kicking Metal Jew. What are you doing there? Why did you go? Oh no, DMS, they are making a lot of mistakes. They are falling apart. They are throwing in everyone now. The hawk finally lessing someone, but they are just resetting the field, the battlefield. They are shaping to their own standards, and they are diving deep into the fountain, and they're gonna get the duo. Navi Jr. This day, this time, this particular match, they were just better. In every single aspect. Nice game to start the day off. Navi Jr. 2-0 DMS.